In this problem, we are being asked to find a value of the quotient of two functions. So you're going to take one function, divide it by the other, and then find some value for x there. Uh, also, there, we're being asked to find values that are not in the domain of the function. And um, this happens when you do division, when you have a quotient. Let me just uh, write this set of functions as a quotient. I'm going to put h on top because we're, we're finding h of g, sorry, h over g. So this, this is 3 plus x and 6 plus x. I don't really need to do anything. No multiplying out is necessary here. And this is over negative 9 minus x. Because g, this function here, is in the denominator, it can never equal 0. It's not allowed to be 0 because uh, you can't have a, a division by 0. So the value, let's do the second part first. The value that's not in the domain of this function is where the bottom, negative 9 minus x, equals 0. So to find this value that's not in the domain, you set the bottom equal to 0, and then you just solve it for x. So I would add 9 to both sides, and I'd get negative x equals 9. I would divide by negative 1 on both sides. I would get x equals negative 9. So negative 9 is not in the, in the domain. All right. Now, uh, they're asking us to find h over g of 4. Well, here is h over g up here, and we just need to put 4 in here. So 3 plus 4 is 7, and 6 plus 4 is 10. So the top is 7 times 10. Negative 9 minus 4 would be negative 13. So you're going to have negative 70 thirteenths. And it's really as simple as that. It's just plugging in the numbers into the function and cranking them out. So that is a little bit of work with a quotient of two functions.